successful. They keep patching the holes up. Well, that's not very nice. Fishing with Roger today. We're going to do a little bit of urban fishing around the area. And uh, just going to rig up my rods and, and walk out to the point here and fish our way back. Oh, look at all the little bait fish in there. We should have took a live potty mullet trap. You can see a little brim just swimming around here near the shopping trolley. Let's see if we got the right lure. This will tell me. Yep, he's straight onto it. No. Ah, that's not good. Take it. Yep. Yeah, I'm on. Ah, oh, tiny. At least I know it's bite. I threw one in and seen a little brim there and he sort of ignored it, so I just threw it back out. But if I can catch a fish that big here, that means I've got the right bait. All I've got to do now is um, find some big fish. Look at it, you got barbed wire down there, shopping trolleys. Too easy. See a little piece of gulp on, I'll just see if that works. Well, that was so savage, I'm just, yeah, I'm pretty adamant all we do is now. Look, look for a big brim. Yeah, one of those little pulse worms. Or well, piece of pulse worm now. Oh, nice, that's a better fish. Just watch the yellow stuff over there, make sure you bring it this way. Oh yeah, nice little flatty. It's always nice to get a couple of fish before you start fishing, isn't it? Yeah, you I know? didn't even camera on. Didn't you? And that's on a little uh, a deep dive and chubby, is it? Or atomic? Ah, it's a... It's a little deep dive and atomic. Yeah, that was a good release, mate. Cool, that wind's bad. But straight away we've got a diver bite and we've got a plastic bite, so... So it could be a very good wind for us. You're not really breaking in if you walk along the water's edge, so... Coming back, we're going to get... Oh, should I wear my shoes? I might just grab my shoes. Hey? Oh, you are a trendsetter. <laughs> What's going on here? You got the flashiest pair of volleys I've ever seen. Tie-dyed t-shirt. Did you want that? You got another Gatorade there? Yeah, I'll leave that one in there. I'm all dressed in black and you're all bright and leery. Anyway, I'm off. Blech. <coughs> Just gotta watch all this shit for needles and all sorts of garbage. Oh, yeah. I've never seen one here. I'm sure there would be the odd snake, but I've just never seen one. Geez, the water looks good. So running tide with these mangrove sort of shadows, they're probably right on the edge. Oh, there's one. Yeah, got him. Little tiny thing again. Oh. Dropped him. Baited. Got a piece back in and got slammed by a really good fish. So, try again. It could have been a nice flathead or something. It just had a lot of weight to it. Huh? Come here! Come here! Come here! 
little baby flounder. Where'd he go? Where did he go? I know the tide will swim. Oh, there he is. That's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> it's a prehistoric little animal, that is. Beautiful. Nice as a camouflage. Yep. Geez, I like eating these ones when they get big. Not here, but. Hey, buddy. Go to the point now, give it an hour. Hey, look, there's a fishing rod. And, um. You want to fish? I don't think I really want that rod. Yeah, we'll give it an hour off the point and then go, we'll relocate after that. It's a disgusting little piece of paradise. Missed him again. Come on. Hopefully a big fella will come out. Don't tell me that. I'm already baited, eh? I got him. Oh, dropped him again. What's up, mate? Yeah, what about? Hey? No, no. Did you get your packet? What about the packet you had? I don't know. Is that what you're using? Yeah. Yeah, ball see a worm Look at that. I, I think they were whiting, but I couldn't set the hook on them all. I might have to go to um, Z-Man Rubber. This way. The only reason I go on the worm hook is because I'm sort of fishing pretty close to the rocks. But if you're doing long cast out, I'd be just using normal jig heads, you know. Nothing. I don't like it when my curly bit falls off. With the water being so green, I might give, I've got um, some bloodworm Z-mans there, I might give them a go. Yeah. There's a little one there. Oh, nearly smacked him onto the hook that time. Yeah, got him that time. Little one. That's alright though. We're out here to release a bit of steam. So I'm quite happy to catch anything that swims today. We can double up on that. That little jerky thing really got them biting then. As soon as I started ripping that lorry, they got more angry. current sweeping off this point so I'm going to let that line tighten up let the rubber hit the bottom and then yep there's no, oh, that was a better one yeah more aggressive in your retrieves Roger is getting the bites yeah baited me that was a much better fish well I've got a little bite going here I'll try a different lure you like this being a bricky 
HB2, how old do you reckon that brick is? It's like a convict sand stock with a stamp on it. Stamped. Yeah, it's stamped. It's got N-E-W-B-L-D HB2. Let's see the Z-Man works. Oh, a little bait chase there on the point. Three casts with the gop, uh, with the Z-Man, we had a bite, so I've gone back to the worm. Let's just see what happens here. The trouble is the amount of small fish in the water, the worms get chewed up pretty quick. It'd be much better autumn bait when you've got that bigger line of fish in you. Yep, straight away. There you go. Just goes to show that it's a preference on the day. Yeah, straight away. Got a decent whiting. So we got flounder, whiting, flathead, and brim now. And it's that once again, the whole key to this bite was that aggressive. Like it's really big rips that are making them bite these um, lures. Okay, nice little elbow slapper to start the day. So we're sort of here just to catch fish of any type, so it's good to knock off that half decent flounder straight away. See you, buddy. He wasn't happy. Nice. Alright, I got a gulp bite going. Um, the only trouble is it's like I've already lost my rubber. Stealth. What's that? <laughs> hey? Oh stealth. A little cookie blade. And you definitely get fish. Yeah, I'm liking these these pulse worms, but I just don't think they're a uh, a good bait when all the little little tiny fish are around. I think it might be a better autumn thing, you know, when the big blue nose are down here. Everything's hitting it. side of the point so the current sweeping around this way now so right in under these mangroves should be prime this one yep ah oh, dropped him Dope. it's definitely that uh, reaction to the yep got him that time They're not big fish, but it's still getting a reaction bite. Well, there's my flathead, so I've gone. Brim, flounder, whiting, flathead. But we wouldn't, in a survival situation, we wouldn't be feeding the tribe. But we're definitely going for the species. Same aggressive sort of reaction to the, to the rip. They come back for it. All right, now I'm gonna when you settle down, buddy, what we're going to do uh, is not that. Come here. We've got to try and get them behind. Behind those gill points there and there. And that way, if he slips forward, he'll only go straight into the water. Nice. Right, now I've got to go for legal size fish. You want a legal brim? Got a legal whiting. That's right where the two currents meet on this point. Great spot for fish to stage.
patience. Patience. Don't have much of that. There we go, that's the start. So we're getting the bite hard. Oh, I had him. Dolp. Oh, and again. Little, might be a whiting. I'll go back out. Lucky. Feeling like that bite it probably wasn't whiting. It's alright. I'll take him. Warning or a little brim. I keep that loop in the line so I can see that first tick. And this is why braid's so important. You can't do this with mono. We can, but you don't have this sort of feel. Oh, I think he was on it already. Oh. What was that? There's one. Oh, that felt like a sharp brim bite. I'm gonna go back in. I got my bait. Damn. Mm. The nature of this plastic is very finessey, so. Too, if you stop this, are just smashing this rubber in pieces. Important. Just to reenact the car so you're getting bites. That's it. No, he's there. Savage. Okay. Lure change. Shit. Oh shit. Plagics. <laughs> On you, Roger. We haven't got a decent fish yet today, so. Oh yeah. Just watch you don't peel you along those rocks. Hey, there we are. That's what we've been looking for. Just look, show them the lure. A little purple feral. Yeah, a lot of guys just know them as a bass lure, but chasing brim too. Nice. Put that little out along the edge. Yep. Ping. Yeah, well, there'll be there should be schools running along here. Yeah. They're fun on the hard bodies, aren't they? Yeah. Right up along the rock? Yeah. I felt like I had a rock and then I went... Yeah. I'll go back. I was thinking it looks really nice, it's deep. Yeah, right along this rock edge. That's why the only reason I've got the worm hook on is so I can roll the rubbers into the edge. Oh, here's one. Take it. Oh, just got snapped off. Damn. Look at that. There's only another brim, but it must have been right on a rock. 
Oh well. Well, there's plenty of fish there, mate. No, whoa, that was a big fish. Oh, you're kidding. That was a monster. An update here. The last half an hour tide's turned. And I've been snapped off once. And had two absolute drag screaming monster brim. And pulled the hooks on both. I was just about to give up over there and then this I just threw in nonchalantly thinking nothing's gonna happen and and it was just screaming. I got something on the barrel. Yeah. More than three seconds ping. Oh you got snapped up again? Something up or something else. You'd think they're mullet, but they're not. This is what fishing's all about. There is a massive school of tail and salmon, what I can work out. Just circling around. They're all feeding, but I cannot even jag one. I've been running up and down for, for half an hour trying to get one of these fish, and now Roger's just gone up and caught one. What did it buy? Oh, that's a flathead. I've been chasing these salmon up and down here. Do you reckon they're mullet or salmon? Because they're black spotted. They're that oh. wide. For I thought there was mullet in there, but I'm reckoning there's salmon or, or um, tailor. Oh, they look like they were mullet, but some of them are missing scales. Yeah, but some of them are, did you see the ones that are that yeah. big? Like, they, they're like bullets. I, I thought they were salmon. Nice, mate. I was ripping the blade through them, trying to, uh, Trying to jag one. That's all right. Oh, you had to go and do that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's ready for that head shake. He knows what I'm going to do. Come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. I couldn't get a bite in the main river. Oh, oh, up there. oh where? On the corner, yeah. But I went up that way, I couldn't get anything. And I come back in here and all the life's in here. Nice one. I'm gonna walk back. Get my... Watch your steps around here, man. <laughs> 